other subtopic we are going to cover is the signs of a good or a healthy chicken. We'll start with the chick. On the day your chicks are arrived to your house, the very first thing you should note is that if it's a healthy chick, the feathers should be shiny and yellowish in color. The ubericoc cord should be dry and they should be alert. They should be able to identify where the water is and be able to identify where the warmth is coming from. So that's a sign that those birds are healthy. When they start feeding, it is important to note that the digestive system of the bird grows very fast, that within the first three days, what a chick can digest, the mother can digest. So you should be able to start seeing the manure that the alphysis that are coming from the feeding of those birds. So it means that the digestion system is taking place. Once the bird grow into the grower stage, you will have the water now growing. You should be very careful that it should be soft and for a layer bird it should start to redden and grow long. If you find it lying on one side, there, there could be a problem. Then because these are developing girls, the feathers should be shiny and sometimes you'll find molting and if they molt, the feathers should grow very fast. So you find the feathers are dropping and the feathers are growing. So that, that, that you find it in the growing stage. The bird should also be able to feed at this stage as much as 100 grams per bird. So note carefully that the bird should be able to feed to that fill. If the birds are not able to feed to that level, you should be very careful, there could be a problem. The other thing you should look at is the manure. Do you have wet litter? Because if you have wet litter, it means that there's an infection in the lower gut of the bird. I told you that when the bird is feeding, it should be able to absorb all the water into the system and only give out the feces as dry and uric acid. Go around the house and see whether you have feces that are brown. If you find that the color of the feces is getting to brown, yellowish, you should be very alert that there could be an infection that is coming into your farm. When they now they reach the layer stage, a healthy layer should be able to bed whenever you put your head on its back. They are not timid anymore. If you find layer bird that is timid, it means that their birds are not healthy and they should be able to lay. They should be comfortable to lay and the, a good layer, if you turn the bird upside down, the vent should be wet and very soft. If you turn the bird and touch the anus or the cloaca, or where the air comes out through, it should be very soft and wet. And for those who can be able to check, your two first fingers, they should be able to go in, in between the two bones, the two cervic bones, pelvic bones. Anytime you want to confirm that your bird is laying, turn the bird upside down, feel that the vent is wet and smooth, and your two fingers, should be able to go through the two pelvic bones. That's a healthy layer. It also should be able to feed, if in the system of depleter, should be able to feed up to 150 grams of feed and should have dry feces and the color of the feces should be br black, greenish black, but should not be yellow or greenish. If you find those kind of feces, it means that you have an infection in your body in the bodies of the bird. The bird should also have a clean vent. 
Whenever a bird releases the dropping or the uric acid, the vent is normally left clean. If you find dropping on the vent of the bird, it means that there could be a lower gut infection in your bird and you should always call a vet or a professional to check whether there's an infection that is coming into your farm. With those few signs, you could be able to, you can also be able to tell whether your birds are having any infection. The other thing is that whenever you enter into the farm, just do a crap and all the birds should look at you. And we can try with this farm. So it means that all the birds, they keep quiet and they look at you. That's how to check that your birds are alert. For every farmer who is doing pottery farming, the droppings of, the, of your bird should be the first sign to tell you whether you are incurring an infection in your farm. It's very important to note that you, any bird that gives a dropping should have the white substance on top, what we call the uric acid. The dropping could be a dark colored green remember i'm saying a dark colored green going to black but has uric acid that way you have a healthy flock but if you find that you have brownish you have light greenish or you have brown droppings in your in your in your house you should be very careful. You should start now looking for other factors that can give you a sign of, uh, of any infection. Brownish diarrhea, yellowish to brownish diarrhea could be a sign of coxidiosis is catching up with you. If you find a whitish diarrhea, you could be having full typhoid. If you find light greenish diarrhea, be very careful. You could be having Newcastle. And any time you find that the vent of your bird has some feces on it, be very careful, look for a possible diarrhea and take precautions. And if you are doing the depleter system, you should be very careful that every time you find any two or three birds giving brownish diarrhea, just give an, a simple antibiotic and that disease will go. The other thing that we should look at is the color of the yolk. First of all, look at the shell of your, of your bud. If you have a healthy bud, it means that the shell is hard enough such that it can cut your finger. If you have droppings or white particles on the shell of your egg, it means you have a lot of calcium deposition on your egg so you should reduce the amount of calcium that you're giving and also you can jeopardize the calcium mobilization in the body so it's always important to keep the nutrients at the right place the color of the of the yolk starts from dark green to dark yellow the deeper the yellow of the egg it means the more the nutrition, the nutrients the, 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 the egg has absorbed. It means that that bird was being fed on a highly nutritious food. The lesser the yellow, the color of the yolk, it means that less nutrients have been absorbed into the system and so the bird just gave out a, an egg to that extent. So, Anytime you're going to buy the egg, look at the color of the yolk. It means, it, it confirms how nutritious the egg it is. Because the color determines the amount of nutrients that have been absorbed into the system. Recently, people are using chemicals to make the egg yolk yellow in color. But as a nutritionist, I would discourage the use of the chemical because research has found it that if that chemical is used for a long time to the human being, it can affect the retina, hence affecting the vision of the human. 
So we don't know what we are feeding on. So you are the farmers. So I want you to help me because I can give you an alternative of how you can make your egg more yellow and in a natural way. If you want to make your egg yellow, the yellow maize contains a product called carotin, which gives the color of the yolk a very dark yellow. The kaba yellow, everybody knows it. If you're not able to buy the yellow maize because it probably is not available in the market, you can give grass to your, and to your birds, you can give skumawiki, you can give spinach or anything green that the bird can feed on and then that green color is going to be transformed into the color yellow and that way you have not affected the health of your bird, you have not affected the health of your customers and you have not also affected the health of you and your children. So let's safeguard our health.